Let me show you this other awesome plant that's growing here in the middle of all these plants that a lot of people would consider weeds and probably get rid of and kill. Um, and that is, can you see them in there? It's this plant right here that's growing in the middle of this thistle. Let me pull it. This right here, a lot of people see these. You might recognize this. Maybe you've seen it in your yard. It's got little flower leaves there. This is called a purple dead nettle or a red dead nettle. And uh, this plant, purple dead nettle here, is an awesome plant. It's packed full of vitamins. Uh, it's a diuretic. It's, uh, it's good for a lot of things. It's very e uh, easily distinguished in the springtime by these little flowers. And when I was a kid, me and my sisters used to go and pick these flowers and that little white part on the end, we would bite because they're sweet. But this entire thing is edible. Uh, if, uh, if it's off season and that flower's not there, a good way to identify this is it, the top leaves um, have a little bit of reddening to them. And another way to identify this plant is the uh, stem here. I don't know if you can see the shape of that stem, but it's a like a perfect square. It's not round, it's square. If you can see it, there it goes. It's turning in my hand like that. It's a square. The other thing with those uh, purple dead nettles is you can make uh, a really awesome tincture for it. Okay. So first thing I'm going to do with these purple nettles, or dead nettles, I guess, is I'm going to take these, um, I'm going to start by taking off the leaves and heads of this dead nettle, and then we'll chop it up. We'll go ahead and... Don't have to be chopped fine, we're just going to chop it up a little bit. Okay, that's probably good. Now, I'm not sure what happened in my half cup measuring cup, but uh, here's a quarter cup measuring cup, so I'm going to put a half a cup total and uh, of this stuff. So that's about a half a cup, maybe a little bit more. That's going to go in my jar. Oops. It's going to go in my jar. I and mean, the rest of this should end up making just about a cup total. Yeah. There we go. We can go ahead and throw the rest of this in here. When I say a cup, I meant a half a cup. So it should make a half a cup total of that stuff. Now... We're gonna put in one cup of vodka. So we've got our our Sun Ranch vodka here. So we'll put in a cup of that. Okay. Okay, then the lid on here. Make sure your jar is clean first. Okay, then we just give this a shake after we've got our vodka in there. And I'm gonna go ahead and put this up in the cupboard in a cool place uh, for probably three weeks. And then after three weeks, I will strain out the, uh, the plant matter and we'll have our tincture. And that tincture is going to be really good for uh, springtime allergies. It makes a good antihistamine, uh, antifungal. It's, it's a good thing to have around. And uh, just about everybody here, at least in the Pacific Northwest, uh, has this growing somewhere in their yard or close by. And it grows, uh, it grows over here on the West Coast. It grows in Canada. And it's a good plant to know. Um, it's a good survival plant, too, because you don't have to cook it to eat it. Um, uh, you can eat it kind of like spinach, and it's a little fuzzy. The, the leaves are a little fuzzy. It's got a kind of an earthy taste, but it's good. And those little flowers, oh my goodness, those little flowers are good. They're super sweet. 
I like to take those little flowers and mash them up a little bit and add them in my cattail flour uh, pancakes. Gives it a little bit of sweetness. And uh, we'll do a video on that later on. But uh, yeah, so go out, find yourself some of that dead nettle. If you have any questions about it and you want to make sure that it's the right plant, go ahead and uh, send a picture in the comments there and I'll, I'll uh, help you out with that. Um, the, as far as I know, there is no poisonous lookalikes. But the best way to identify that is with this square stem. I don't know if it's visible in the camera, but it literally has a square stem. And in early spring like this, it starts getting those leaves and it starts getting a little flower on top. So it becomes more and more easily identifiable. Hey guys, we're back and our purple dead nettle tincture is now ready. It's been up there for about three weeks. And uh, so all you gotta do is take out the roughage and we'll have a nice tincture for anti-inflammatory or allergies or um, you could even use it on your skin but uh, yeah that's that there goes the lid but there's the roughage in there I'll just I'll just take a fork and take this stuff out and kind of press the fork against the side of the jar and squeeze out as much of that liquid as we can all right guys well we've got our tincture there and uh, about a half a cup and uh, we'll go ahead and put that in the cupboard and you can use it for anti-inflammatory or uh, seasonal allergies or even on your skin and uh, yeah we'll uh, be making some more videos on some other tinctures and maybe some salves and and uh, other herbal medicines uh, made from wild herbs that grow right out in your backyard or, or somewhere close to you. All right, well, till next time, this is Bigfoot, out. Hey, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. And if you like this kind of stuff, um, hit that notification bell and then you'll get notified every time I make a new video.